Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, when we left off, um, I had not learned about what we could have had in Cyberpunk 2077, but due to, as we all know, a lot of the constraints and shenanigans that went on in developing this game, we was robbed. Uh, we, I could have had, I could have had a furry me, and I, I feel robbed now that I know <laughs> that I could have had it, because apparently that is a thing in the tabletop RPG, uh, and I am still salty about that. Anyway, I'm gonna hit the right button and go to the map, uh, somewhere where I will do a mission. I'm not sure if I'll do the thievery missions but I will do a side job. Maybe that side job. There we go. That's an idea. Yeah, I was... We was robbed. We was robbed. You basically have an entire faction, I believe, as well as the technology to just make animal parts and just affix them to humans thereby essentially making furries and I feel so robbed I feel so robbed the only way CDP <laughs> uh, CD Project Red CDPR as it usually is shortened to the only way they can make it up to me is by making it a DLC and maybe maybe I'll be nicer. But we was robbed. Oh! Lovely neighborhood. Yeah. Right. Yeah, lovely neighborhood. And I almost destroyed the front of my car doing that. Alright, well. Turn around. That way. It's an easy out of here. Hey, Maelstrom's got a cyber psycho problem. Okay. I want him alive, so really try here. And be careful. Male stromers are crazy. Psychosis are not. That much I'm aware of. But okay. I'll do that. Bloody ritual. Police drones just spotted some symbols on the ground, surrounded by tons of blood. Wild guess is it's one of Maelstrom's sick-ass rituals. Might be. It's entirely possible. Tell you one thing for sure. I'm going to swap to Psalm here. What in the fuck? That's a good question. What in the? F you okay? Lilith has concealed the tenth circle from the ancestors' eyes. The hell is this? The tenth. Not a bad feeling, V. Did I just get ammo off of the body? Basically. That's weird. Um, take that. Take that. Take that. Maelstrom Cultist's Shard. Not sure if I want to do that. Characteristic of Maelstrom, if not for the atypical color. Bleeding from the eyes and numerous stab wounds. No indications of resistance. So they didn't even fight back. Okay. Same story with basically every body, it looks like. Whatever the hell this is. Oh, that's a body. An old freezer. Contents ice, possibly related to net running operations. And the contents are finely chopped human limbs and entrails. Tasty. Okay. Okay. Well. Literal body chop chop. Literal human body chop chop. What the... What the What was that?
What was that? Well, that says to me that those parts were newly harvested. The fact that that tool is there and there's that. Um... Uh, you know, when I said I was going to do a side job, this wasn't what I had in mind. Like, not at all. Really. Uh, search the body. Okay, let's search the body. It's an encrypted shard. Some shards you will find in the world will contain inf information hidden behind data encryption measures. To decrypt a shard, first either open it through the notification when you acquire it, or find it later in the shards tab under the journal in the main menu. Oh, so that's how I could have cracked that one thing before I handed it off to her, which I didn't do. But that was a way I could have. Okay, time to crack the security on this bitch. All right. Uh Huh. So I'm going to have to take one of these to get down to E9 and then work with 551C1C from there. Okay. I say BD's the next best to go with. E9551C1C. C. Good. Gained access. Huh. I did search the area already. Area already. Okay. Oh, so he already has a bounty on his body. That's weird. Severe blood loss from multiple shallow lacerations. Critical condition. Okay. He Apparently he's not dead. He's not yet. Um... The occasional flickering of the HUD is not helping my... <laughs> not helping me feel any better about what I seem to have thrown myself into. Okay, this is just a normal car. Huh. A lot of the uh, Maelstrom calling cards are all over, though. What the? Oh, grimy. Yeah, a little grimy, sure. V, we got company. That. That wasn't. You weren't. Um, hello? How you doing? You have a peg leg. You have two peg legs. What the fuck? Whoa. Okay, whoa. Okay, all right. Woo, okay. Nope, okay. All right, time to run. Time to run. I'm swapping guns accidentally. Oh, I'm on fire. Okay, well, I think, I think that's justified <laughs> that I, uh, was th so thrown off, I was so thrown off by all of that, that I died. <laughs> I think that's justifiable. I don't think anyone can, uh, I don't think anyone can blame me, and I'm gonna skip this. 
got company. Yeah, we do. So I'm gonna back up now. Back up to about here. Yeah, it's a hostile area. I kind of noticed that now. You have peg legs. Barely have hands. You are a demon of some kind. Well, Okay. Well, oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. All right. I couldn't. I couldn't heal fast enough. I couldn't heal fast enough. It doesn't help that they're on fire and they're also using that fire to then kill me. <laughs> oh boy. And they, <laughs> the job description said it would be very low danger. Right. V, we got no, yeah, I figured that much. Don't worry about that. I figured that much out. I'm gonna eat some food. Maybe that will help me. <laughs> oh, my massive inventory of food. Moon cheese. Okay, well, that'd be some. And then hydration might be good. Although, I don't know how I'm going to achieve it. I'm definitely not drinking the booze. Uh, we got Naranjita Classic. Yeah, screw it. Why not? Okay. I gotta remember how to do the dodges. Direction. And... Double B. Okay, hello! Whoop! Okay, well... I can't... I can't keep up. Oh! Okay, well... I'm managing somehow, because she's moving a lot slower than she was prior. That and I also might have figured out how the dodging function works. Doesn't hurt. Okay. Ooh, okay. 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 Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Time to run. Time to heal. If nothing else. I backed myself into a corner. I need to move. I need to move. I need to move. I need to move. Like, right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, merciful. Oh, run. R time to run is now. Time to heal and run is now. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hi there. <laughs> Hi there, how you doing? Oh, but he's ow. Okay. Okay. Get oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, she's moving so fast. She's moving so fast. Huh. Heavily modified Netrunner cyberware and long sharp blades. <laughs> Cause of death V. She isn't dead. She isn't dead. The hard reset approacheth. The boys have prepared everything and found me a lamb. Blood will course through the fiber optics, swirling and bending with the digital. Opening the gates of the abyss. Death within arm's reach. The metallic taste of his scythe on my tongue. I will tug at the tangled cables of fate. A hard reset. A blue screen. A brain reformatted. I'm ready. Luck be with me. What in the ever-loving fuck? Oh. I'm happy that I survived that, A, and B, helped her survive it, but, uh, wow. That was a thing. Time to message Regina. Cyber psycho sighting bloody ritual. Something about this ritual went wrong. Seriously wrong. 
place is covered in guts and blood. Must have had to do with uploading the brain into the net and straddling the border between life and death. Only the girl who jacked in couldn't handle it. She went psycho and started tearing into her tombs. I thought women were more resistant to cyberpsychosis. Anyway, at least we have her alive. Okay, that did a weird respond message bug, but it always does that, so it's fine. Okay, it's true women are less likely to get cyberpsychosis. All the better we have her alive for more research. I thought nothing could surprise me anymore. Boy, was I wrong. Wonder what she heard through those cables, what caused her to crack. I'll keep looking into it. In the meantime, I'm sending you your cut. Bonuses included. Property developer tossed in token of their gratitude for freeing up the building that Maelstrom was squatting in. Not bad, eh? That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. Cool. I mean, the reward is cool. What happened here was seriously fucking brutal. Seriously fucking brutal, man. Just brutal. Okay. Anyway. Time to swap to my normal gun and get out of here. Wait until Rogue is ready. Well, I don't want to do that quite yet. Uh, but I don't know what else to do. Ooh. Thornton Colby. I could buy that. Archer Quartz. I could get that. Oh, there's a whole way up here to get a tarot card. A tarot card. Well, I mean, I can't say no to that, now can I? Let's get that done and over with. Well, I might as well help. Oh, geez. Okay, well. At least this one isn't as bad combat-wise. Okay. You, you'll show me how it's done. You stood in front of cover for me to kill you. Jesus. You're welcome. Now get out of here. Last thing they need is to find you here. Get out of here quicker! Uh, hi? Hi, move. Get out of here. Oh, for crying out. Why is it every time I try to holster my gun, it ends up swapping instead? Uh, whatever. Taking all of that. All of this good, good loot and money-making things. Oh, synaptic accelerator is ready. Good. All right. There's all that, that, and that. Well, the Burdia. Huh. Interesting. Like, <laughs> I hope you're calling for a ride, because you need to get out of here, man. They're going to come back. They're going to assume it was you, so, like, run. Whoop. I ended up hitting that button by mistake. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Um, going to take a sip real quick, but then I'm also going to figure out where a... Oh! Pretty much right in front of me. Okay. Well, then I'll drop off some of my uh, inventory because I am getting closer and closer to that 285 limit. I don't want to have to deal with that, <laughs> like at all, really. So, I'll go ahead and deal with that. And, yeah, there we go. Whoop. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. <laughs> Didn't mean to take out the street light. All right, I will deal with this, and I will see y'all in a second. Alrighty, now that we are done with all of the selling, and my inventory is now sitting, I think, 155. Not great, but not terrible. I can at least uh, break down the stuff that I have left. 
Time to move on. Into doing what I was planning on doing. Haha, <laughs> outran you. There we go. Whoop. Some of these turns. You weren't even in any danger. What are you running and crying about? Jesus. Alright. Oh, there was one over here, too. Well, I didn't know that there'd be so many on my path. Alright. Whoop. I took a bad turn. And this will make it right. Ta-da! Ha-ha! Uh, you gotta love when you're unfamiliar with the streets you're on and you take weird angles because you don't know. You assume that it's close enough. Boy, have I gone through that enough times. Okay. Onward we go. Towards that northern area. The oil fields. Really? Oil fields? Don't know what I expected, but it wasn't oil fields, I'll tell you that much. Whoop! Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. I can't see where I'm going. Not like this. I'm just trusting that the path is leading me in the right way. Oh, man. The oil fields. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. If Night City is its own semi-independent kind of city-state in and of itself. It would make sense that they have oil fields so close to the city. But it's just odd to me to see them you know, that close. Sav Oil, build a brighter future with us. Uh-huh. New openings. Uh-huh. Sure. Totally. At Sav Oil, we have mastered the first ever truly environmentally friendly process for oil production. Are we just going to ignore everything I just saw on my way here? We use the latest technologies to ensure no harm will come to our Mother Earth. Right. Thanks, Shell. Come see for yourself. You are cordially invited to an informational meeting to discuss your future career path with Savoil and to learn about our generous signing bonuses for new employers. Generous. Uh -huh. Right. Where is... Oh. It's right up there, it looks like. What the hell is this? Bushido and Neo Postmodernism. That's a mouthful. Huh. The Hanged Man. I guess it's semi fitting that it's on a water tower. Okay. Interesting. I kind of want to read this. Oh, uh, yeah. That, I remember. I remember reading this now. Never mind. It was about the movie. Okay. The in-game movie, as that is a thing. All right. Let's get into my car and get out of here. All righty. I would have seen that had headlights worked, but no, no, they don't want to work today. Uh, whatever. So, next thing we go to. I've done, basically, that's everything up in the oil fields here. At least everything that's worthwhile. So, I guess we go to do some of these for the NCPD, I guess, or something. I don't know. I'm playing this by ear. Oh, I could swing by the reported crime while I'm on the way to this one. Cool. All right. Then away we go. And we turn left. Get on the right side of the road. And 
perfect. Now the reported crime, I have no idea where that actually was sitting, but it'll be apparently just before I do the turn. Just fine. That should make it easier to follow. And we You're just racing down the road now. Woof. Was that grass? Was that grass in the middle of the road? Oh, uh, boy. And that should be getting closer, I think. Yeah, it's getting closer. I was about to say, I knew that the uh, cell box wasn't that far behind. Alright. Is that... Is that a signpost I've already accidentally destroyed once? <laughs> I guess it must be. Scrolls before swine. Yo, V. There's this badge. He needs help with his investigation. Okay. Guy's known for operating in the gray zone. Oh. Scrolls about working with mercs. Gotcha. Catch more deeds for you. Oh, for this is for the gig. Okay. Maelstrom Warehouse on the corner of Industrial and Eisenhower Street. Client is Aaron McCarlson, NCPD Sergeant. Used to work for me as a consultant at the show, on the show, Cops and Chops. Eight seasons. <laughs> like that's some sort of record. Uh, and is asking for a favor. Aaron's been digging into Maelstrom for a while now. Says he found the warehouse where they torture people. But you know how it is for badges. Law slows them down with mountains of paperwork, so if they want to get something done, they have to get creative. Aaron knows that, which is why instead of waiting for fat-ass judges to grant him permission, he wants to get help from a contractor. Job simple. Get into the warehouse, coordinates attached, steal the security cam footage, and bring it back to Aaron. Should be enough to push his case through. And if you happen to shoot a few maelstromers along the way, well... Shit happens, right? World wouldn't be worse off without them, that's for sure. Fair enough. I'm assuming that's the, uh... That's the Aaron guy. The McCarlson. Yeah, he does look like a McCarlson. Okay, anyway, moving on. The one I was going to do is underneath the road, from the look of it. But I might be able to make that after this. So... Oh, hi there. Buddy? How you doing? Okay, well... That's going to be difficult. Five, 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 E9. There we go. Wasn't as bad as I thought. I'm assuming this is the thievery gig right here. So I'm going to try and be sneaky. I don't know how sneaky I'm going to be able to manage it, but I might be able to manage. Especially if this door is able to open. It is. Alright. Pain Editors and Mortality Rates. I think I've read that already. Alrighty. And... A Hand Fan. Interesting. Okay, um... Hmm. Well, E9 is going to be difficult to do. Huh. Let's 
let's see. Maybe if I go this route. E9, E9, 1C. 1C. Oh, I thought I had more room. Damn it. Okay. It's fine. I need to make sure I'm not getting screwed over. You look like you're staring at a wall. That's fine. Okay, so he's moving. He's moving over here. Okay, well, this makes it slightly easier. Just not as ideally easier as I hoped. Bye. Taking your stuff. And didn't look like they dropped a gun. Okay, well, I guess the next move is to head up here and grab you. Yeah, make all the noise you want. You're not going to be able to make it for much longer because... Snip. Oh, they had coffee on them. Interesting. Alrighty, you... Might be easier to attempt to move on. Nice arm. And in you go. Bye bye. Golden chain. <laughs> well, it's mine now. All right. Next duck. Open this up. Broken. Well, by the look of that toilet, yeah, I'd say it probably is. Uh, I think there's ah, there was a thing back here. It was an ashtray. Why would there be an ashtray back there? Ashtray of all things. Oh well. Now there makes more sense. Alright. Is there anyone in here? No. Very interesting. What in the hell? Is that like a brand name or something on the cover? Is that like the Gucci? <laughs> is that the Gucci of the cyberpunk universe? Is that what it is? It's hard to say. I have no idea. Quite frankly, I don't think I want to know. Okay, so steal the data. Alrighty. Good. We've done the thing. Grab that. And I'm gonna bail. But that won't be until... A lot of cards near the trash can. That won't be until I take care of this last one over here. Unless there are more of them. It looks like it is possible. Okay, well. Oh, hi there. Well. You are literally making it impossible to shoot you. you you're calling me a coward. Well, hi there. Thanks for joining the party. Oh, geez. Okay. I'm missing. I'm missing left and right here. Bye. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well. Eventually. Eventually that got dealt with right. 
Just, you know, not as sneaky as I was hoping. Hello. Oh, can I head up there to get that guy's gun and or loot? I can. Cool. Alright. Archived conversation between Gawker and Miller. The fuck did you do, quack? What? The pain editor you chipped doesn't fucking work. It hurts so bad it makes me want to rip my optics out. When I find you, I'll cut your throat with a fucking scalpel. Try booting up the implant first. Use the run editor command. Okay. Yeah, that worked. Sorry. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, and your next procedure comes with a negative 100% discount. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that makes absolute sense. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to get the money off of this gonk because he's now dead. Kind of, you're welcome. All right. Whoa. This is more involved. <laughs> this is way more involved than most of them usually are. Yeesh. Okay. Um. E9, 1C, uh, Blurg, I can do this, that one, uh, -oh. I have caused a problem, and I can't do the E9, oh well, it was worth a shot, I managed to get as far as I did. That's enough. It's enough for me. Alright. And... Cool. Down we go. Down we go. Oh! I could just open this the entire time and not have to risk all of that. I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay. Where am I going? I don't know. I mean, I did just go over the fact I'm stupid, so, I mean, it's entirely probably what happened there. Wow, these are getting way more involved. Holy crap. Okay, um, at least the top three can be knocked out like that. Um, well, if it works out is the issue there. Maybe. Maybe. I'll have to do a double here, but I might be able to make it work. BD, BD, 5, 5, BD, 1C, 1C. Did it. Ad bath. Except for, you know, when I'm stupid, like we proved earlier, I can be. That doesn't open. That one opened, but this one... Okay. Whatever. Whatever. I could just steal this. I could. But there's no point. So, out of here I go. And I wonder how sharp the drop is. For doing the other... Oh! Oh! Well, I mean, as long as I land in the right spot, like right here, it's not that strong a drop. Well, hello. I'm not willing to risk that there's no one hiding up here to screw with me. So, I am correct to have done that. Tomiko Sawaya. Huh. They are part of the Tiger Claws. That's fine. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do a breach protocol. Because fuck you. And I'm also going to grab you. And bye bye Wow, look at her loadout. Why can't we dual, dual wield? I can't talk either. I would like to be able to do that, but why can't we dual... Wheel? What? It's locked? 
Since when are these things locked? Since when? I call shenanigans. Alright, anyway. The job is... Down! <laughs> okay. Wyvern drone from the Tiger Claws. That would be really easy just to short circuit, which I will do. Bye bye And you will be very easy to set on fire. Which I shall not do. And they have no idea I'm doing it from above. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. And Synapse Burnout, does that kill you outright? No, it doesn't. Somehow it doesn't. But it causes a lot of damage. Which then means... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now they're going to be able to pinpoint where I'm at. That's not going to be a good thing. Oh, now it's hostile. Well, sneaking was not going to be that much of an option. Down you go. And I think that dealt with all of them. Cool. I'll take that. All right. Ooh. Got the loot one. Nice. Sidewinder. Take your stuff. Bye bye The what? Oh, would you shush. Thank you. All right. And we got components there. Good. Uh, Unity. That's fine. Uh, what is going on in here? Messages up for the antenna. Oh. McCarlson sent us the decryption key. Put up the antennas quiet. Have them transmit directly to me, standard frequency. And ping me if anything goes wrong. Interesting. So McCarlson is playing both sides? Okay. Well. That is certainly not what I expected. That is not too bad. That doesn't look too bad at all, actually. That actually looks really cool. That art is fantastic. Okay, I'm going to get that thing now. There we go. And then I'll head up and get that uh, chest that's up there. There we go. That's the word. And what do we got? Oh, boy. Not as complicated, but about as annoying as I expected. Okay. Let's go with 55, 1C, 1C, 1C. BD, E9? Yeah, that works. I got at least two-thirds of it. That's fine. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it'll do. There we go. Gotta do a quick run around up the tower again. Cool. Alright. And now, I get to loot this. Cool. A nano relays. Interesting. One thing led to another. Sawaya and Kure. Okay, I'm at the antenna. What now? Like I said, insert the dirty splinter in the slot beneath the panel and you're in biz. 
Right. Except there is no slot beneath the panel. Hmm. Should be a model name and serial number close to the edge. Yeah. Well, tell me. Pro Protheus XC800 slash Z. Okay, one sec. Check the base, left side. Should be able to remove one of the panels. Yep, there she is. Prem. Good luck. Okay. Well, they were intending on keeping track of something. Some sort of communications. What are the odds? <laughs> oh, that was too close. Whoo, that was too close. Okay. Well, there's that mission taken care of, among several others. Slowly trying to build up my street cred and money. Which is, you know, good things to boost up. And where am I sitting currently? 35. I need five more levels before I can get that really good frickin' uh, cyber deck. But, but, we're doing well. We're doing well for ourselves. We're at 122,000, almost 123,000. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll see how next episode goes. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and doing a whole bunch of side missions. If for no other reason than to build up money and street cred. To then get a whole host of cool stuff later. Which will make the game easier I'm sure. Or at least make it. Not a grind fest where I'm bashing my head against the wall. Which is not fun for anyone. Especially me. For you!